I don't know what to say. I, I do not know what to say. Today's video I'm bringing you guys is going over the absolute blasphemous Amari Stoudemire just retired as a New York Nick. Amari Stoudemire just went down. His name went down retiring as a Nick. Knickerbucker. Okay, let that sink in really quick because if you're an NBA fan, if you watch basketball, Amari Sotomayor had his greatest years. He will be remembered as a Phoenix Sun. Amari Sotomayor is a Phoenix Sun. This, okay, so first let me get this started. In case you guys haven't heard, so yesterday Amari Sotomayor retired. He retired from the game of basketball, which was kind of surprising. Yes, he had a lot of injuries. Yes, he played limited minutes in this past couple of years kind of bouncing from team to team but he was still an effective player I think just 34 years old okay he retired okay he retired as a member of the New York Knicks and that of course caused kind of the internet kind of went into a craze like okay why not retire as a member of the Suns and then all these rumors started coming out first we heard that he wanted to retire with the Suns and they turned him down and to me that doesn't sound right because why would why would you turn down someone who wants to retire with you you don't have to pay the man you don't have to do anything you sign him to a non-guaranteed contract then he retires so that was kind of fishy why would that happen but the newest report makes sense so it turns out yesterday the report Amari wanted to retire as a son and they turned him down I was like no way there's like why would you say no it just makes no sense the report that came out today, it turns out Amari Sotomayor wanted to come back to Phoenix to play one more season, to play. He saw that the Suns brought back Jared Dudley, they brought back Leandro Barbosa, two players who played when Amari Sotomayor was a member of the Suns, so he figured why not go back, play one more season, and then retire. It turns out the Suns who signed Jared Dudley and they're using him at power forward, Drafted Dragon Bender fourth overall, number four. Drafted Marquise Chris eight. Those are two power forwards drafted in the top ten. And then at center, big man position, obviously. They have Tyson Chandler. They have Alex Len. They just have no room for Amari Sotomayor to come and play. Especially when you figure this. He played in Miami 15 minutes a night. And there were rumors that he complained about his role. He wanted a bigger role. He wanted more minutes. So 15 minutes a night wasn't enough. What makes you think that him signing with the Suns, getting, let's say, 20 to 25 minutes, the Suns just have no room for that. So, the Suns wanted him to just retire as a Sun. He didn't want to do that. He wanted to play, okay? He then got, I don't want to say butt hurt, but I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a shot at the heart. When you try to go back to the team you had so much success with and they turn you down, the Suns just don't have room for him on the roster. So, then he got kind of, like... I don't want to say butt hurt, but he rightfully so he got upset, and so he turned to other options. No team was really giving him a chance to play, so he then retired with the Knicks, and I guess kind of as like a backstab to the Suns, I guess, okay, if I'm the Suns, hear me out. Although I said they don't have enough minutes to give him, he doesn't really have room on this roster. If I'm the Suns, just out of pure respect, hold on, let me do this video really quick. Out of pure respect, I would have brought him back. I don't care if you drafted two power forwards. I don't care if you brought back Dudley. Out of pure respect to the man, you bring Amari Stoudemire back. I don't care if he wants to play one season. I don't care if he wants to play ten seasons. If he said he would retire as a son after he played a year, then you bring the man back for a year because he has done more for the franchise than anybody has on the current team. He's done more than Bledsoe has. He's done more than Devin Booker has. He's done more... Then head coach Earl Watson, he's done more than Jared Dudley, he's done more than Barbosa. If I was the Suns, it was disrespect. I understand. I understand. You just brought back you just brought in a ton of power forwards and you don't have room for another one. But out of pure respect, you put the 18 and 19 year old rookies a little bit to the side, just a little bit, and you give them already 20 minutes a night. I'm not saying give the rookies to the D League 
or sit them out the end of the bench. Amari gets hurt all the time anyway, so you would still have time to play the rookies. I'm upset with my Phoenix Suns for not letting Amari play one more season. If you follow me on Twitter, I was I wanted them to sign him. I believe he had enough in the tank, not to help us win any games, but it's kind of just like a good comeback story, retire as a son. Instead, and, and Amari has fault too, because just because they didn't want to sign you, if you were planning to retire, if no team signed you, I understand the Suns turned you down for a playing spot, but why not? Okay, you don't want me to play. I'm going to retire anyways. Let me just retire with you guys. Because the Suns had no problem if he retired as a Sun. The problem was that he wanted to play. So he kind of went and be like, oh yeah, well, I'm going to go retire as a Nick. Yada, yada, yada. He released a statement. Once a Nick, always a Nick. I love New York. You and I both know Amari Sotomayor is a Sun. He is a Phoenix Sun. That's what he is. Okay, really quick. Just, just If you just are a basketball fan, you already know Amari Sotomayor had his best years in Phoenix. First of all, he played his first eight years in Phoenix. From the age of 18 and a half years old when he was drafted. Eight years later, all spent in Phoenix. Western Conference Finals multiple times. Oh, he won Rookie of the Year. Out of high school. He came out of high school. He won Rookie of the Year out of a bunch of players who came out of college. He was drafted ninth overall by way, the Phoenix Suns. Like I said, he won Rookie of the Year with the Phoenix Suns. He was battling against the Spurs, against the Mavs, against the Lakers, year in and year out, fighting for a championship with the Phoenix Suns. He was a part of the seven seconds or less dynasty with the Phoenix Suns. He was literally the face of the franchise along with Steve Nash and Sean Marion during those good Phoenix Suns teams. Those 62 win Phoenix Suns team. Those 59 win Phoenix Suns team. Really quick, let me look at the stats. Okay. Stoudemire in New York. Four years or four and a half. Seven playoff wins. One time All-Star. In Phoenix, eight years. 27 playoff wins compared to seven. Rookie of the Year, obviously, five-time All-Star, okay? The list goes on. In Phoenix Suns franchise history, Amari Sotomayor is number three in scoring, okay? Number three in rebounding, number five in blocks, and number three in free throws made. He is top five in Phoenix Suns history, scoring, rebounding, block shots, and free throws made. He's number seven in field goal percentage. Like this guy says, Paul Coro, once Amari Sotomayor retired as a Nick, some people might see it as he retired as a Nick. He's always a son. He's always going to be a Phoenix son. He, he, with the Suns, he averaged 21 and a half points, nine rebounds a game. He played over, he played almost 520 games with the Suns. He played 250 with the Knicks. It just, it, I don't know. I mean, and hold on, don't get me wrong, okay? Don't get me wrong, hold up. I understand Amari Sotomayor did have some pretty good years with the New York Knicks. His first year with the Knicks, he was an MVP candidate, okay? I understand. Don't get me wrong. You know, I was a big fan of Amari Sotomayor, in case you guys can't tell. Amari Sotomayor was the first player I ever religiously followed. He was the first player I ever fell in love with. You know, you fall in love with those players. He was the first player that I ever... Pretty much grew up watching. I, I cried when he left from Phoenix to New York. Look, let's not forget this right here. Okay, I'm a huge Amari Sotomayor fan. I know what I'm talking about. Amari Sotomayor, you are a Phoenix Sun, okay? You are a Phoenix Sun. There is no way. I want to know the true story. I mean... The one that came out yesterday, it didn't make sense. You know, he wanted to retire with the Suns and they turned him down. That doesn't make sense. If someone wants to retire with you guys, it doesn't cost you any money. It doesn't cost you any hassle to say, okay, retire. Wow, big deal. Retire with us. Why would you say no? The story today makes sense. He wanted to play for the Suns. The Suns don't have any minutes to give around. They don't have any more room on the roster. So they politely said, hey, we don't have any room for you to play. But if you want to retire with us, feel free he then, he felt backstabbed, so he went and retired with the Knicks. Why, why, why? Amari! I don't know, the list goes on. The list of accomplishments, 
he had with Phoenix. If you're a young basketball fan, you're probably like, oh, he was better with the Knicks. You know, he, he will be remembered as a Nick. No, he won't. He won't be remembered as a Nick, okay? And it's just, I mean, look, he played, he played his last two years in New York, out of 95 games, he played 21 games. I mean, he started 21 games out of 95. His career was going downhill, okay? The New York Knicks, it's... Look, let me look up. So with the Suns, he made it to the Western Conference Finals multiple times. He won 27 playoff games. He almost made it. He was two games away from the NBA Finals twice. Twice, okay? He was All-NBA first team multiple times. He was a five-time damn all-star. He won NBA Rookie of the Year as a 19-year-old player, getting picked ninth overall. Ah, oh, man. Okay, out of his four and a half seasons with the Knicks, four seasons with the Knicks, let's see. His first... First go-around, he got swept, so zero playoff wins. Swept out of the first round. His second go-around, they, they lost in the first round 4-1. to one. So, no, he didn't get swept, but he won one game, and they, got, they still got knocked out of the first round. Then, in the year where he was injured, and career was kind of going downhill, wasn't contributing much to the Knicks that year, that's when they got out of the first round. It's just the success, I don't know, guys. I mean, from a playing standpoint, it makes sense to retire with the Suns, but players, just like humans, have feelings as well. And I guess the Suns hurt his feelings. Rightfully so. Like I said, if I'm the Suns, yes, I respect that you want to give minutes to the young guys. And, you know, your roster is already full. And at the end of the day, the NBA is, is a business. So you can't say, oh, but Amari did this for us. Let me bring him back. But at the same time, it's just respect. The dude sold so many tickets for the Suns. He he's brought so much excitement to the arena he he brought so much success and I don't know it's just it was pretty shocking to see that he retired as a Nick but with the rumors that came out I guess it makes sense I still won't ever agree with it Amari Sotomayor is a Phoenix son to me he should be a Phoenix son to everybody who cares about basketball and even if you're a Knicks fan I'm sure you could you wouldn't like Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr., that's like if he went to the Hall of Fame as a Cincinnati Red. I'm no big baseball fan, but everybody knows Ken Griffey Jr. is not a Cincinnati Red at heart. So, oh man, that just, it, it made me mad. It made me mad, but a lot of people were asking me, what do you think? What do you think about Amari Sotomayor retiring as a Nick? Here's what I think. Amari Sotomayor, son. Amari Sotomayor, Phoenix. Amari Sotomayor is a Phoenix son. He always will be a Phoenix Sun. That's where he had the most success. That's where he had the most fun playing. He loves it in New York. Don't get me wrong. His first choice as soon as he left Phoenix was New York. Okay? Don't get me wrong. And he went back to play in New York after his first tenure. Don't get me wrong. He loves New York. But Phoenix, Amari Sotomayor is a Phoenix Sun. And he always will be. That's where he had the most success. That's where he had the most fun playing with Steve Nash. And I just... <sighs> it sucks that he is a member, retiring as a member of the Knicks. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know what you guys think.